if I can turn it on. Hi James, it's Matt. Got your, uh, I saw your comment on YouTube there. Wanted to make a video for you on how you can reduce electric fields in Sunstream saunas. Um, also wanted to preface this with something else because although I do have a technique that reduces electric field emissions, it isn't actually reducing them at the source. It's just kind of like a band-aid. I'm gonna show that to you. However, I did wanna tell you, um, I don't know the details of their new project or product or whatever, but apparently Sunstream saunas is coming out with a new model that has electric fields mitigated. Um, I'm not really sure what changed their mind. Um, I kind of, you know, pushed, I didn't push very hard, but I pushed a little bit in the past to get all the Sunstream models um, to have mitigated electric fields because that's what I was going for. In the past, they didn't believe that electric fields were even important or whatever. I'm not really sure what changed their mind, but the point in mentioning it to you is, I don't know what their plan is. I don't know what their plan is or how they're gonna handle past customers, but from what I can tell so far without actually testing or seeing one of their, their new products, uh, it looks like to me they've either modified the power supply or the transformer and maybe even the heaters. So perhaps what I'm gonna show you might be more difficult than maybe they can just send you a new set of heaters or a new power supply. I'm not sure you would have to talk to Kevin and see how they're gonna handle all that stuff. But I can definitely show you what I did. Um, this reduces electric fields about 75 to 80%. So if you have, let's say, um, I don't know, let's just say you had you know, a thousand volts per meter of electric fields coming out of the panel. With a technique like this implemented, which is basically a grounded Faraday cage, um, you would be able to reduce that down to about 150, 250 volts per meter. So it reduces body voltage from anywhere from 25 volts or 25,000 millivolts uh, down to about 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. It just depends on how tight the mesh is that I'm gonna show you. So let me flip the camera around and uh, do my best to come in here and take this apart and show you what I've got. So basically, normally, your heater guard just pops off, but there isn't this mesh on the back. So this is a quarter inch mesh from Home Depot. And essentially, all it is, is it has an alligator clip that leads to a ground block. So what I did was I fished some wires through the wall in order to create a grounded Faraday cage in front of the emitter itself. And so what that does is it creates a field, I'm sorry, it creates a shield for electric fields so that they no longer pass through and come into contact with your body. Now the reason that I told you the first part is because this is not, that is not technically eliminating the electric fields uh, from emanating from the sauna. It is just creating a shield between what is coming out of the sauna and you. And so what makes that work is this. I should have had this stuff prepped, I'm sorry. But I wanted to get your question answered. I want to get a video out for you so that you could see what's going on in here. So now, of course, I have all the heaters unplugged so that I can make a video and not be sweating my ass off. But the way that this works is you've got a grounded, you've got a ground block down here, right? And so all I did was pull a ground off the master ground from the power supply. So we're not reintroducing any additional ground loops. And then I've got a wire that goes to each heater shield. So each one of these has its own screen. You know, the left one has its own, even the front one has its own. I'll show you that in a second. And so all you do is um, attach each one of these wires to the grounded, I'm sorry, to the ground block. And that will activate the Faraday cage in front of each one of them. Now, I'm sure you already know this, but Faraday cages don't do anything, at least porous ones, do not do anything for magnetic fields. So by no means is, is this gonna reduce any magnetic fields at all. And so I did the same thing in the floor. So you got heat shield there. Basically it's just stapled to the bottom and I routed the wires underneath there. This one pops out underneath and I just stuck it inside here and it clips on right there. A couple things to note. Um, if you're using a colored material like black, <coughs> excuse me, where the alligator clips on, you have to make contact with that 
in, a, in a raw metal state. So you can't have a painted surface and expect it to make contact. And this is by no means, you know, the best fix ever. It's just a way to reduce electric fields in any carbon sauna. It doesn't matter if it's a sunstream or sunlighten or sun anything. Um, it's just something that I came up with to uh, reduce body voltage back in 2018 when I was testing. So if there's anything else I can do to help you or if I miss something, let me know and I'll make you another video. Have a great day.